Hey guys, what's up? This is me on here. And what if I told you you can create your own custom UI ROM? You can choose what features you can have and what features you don't want. You can choose whether you want the ROM to be pre rooted or not. So, guys, without any further ado, let's get started. So guys first of all go to this website in the description down below this is not a download link because you will be creating your own MIUI custom ROM. Here you can see you have tons and tons of Xiaomi devices for example from Xiaomi Mi 2 to Redmi Note 4. You also have this Mi Mix so I have the Redmi Note 3 Pro which is the Snapdragon variant so I am going to choose that. So guys once you have selected your device next up we are going to select the ROM version. So I have the Redmi Note 3 so I am going to select the 8.1.1 stable ROM because we want the, all the customizations in the stable ROM. Once you have done that just click on the show export option. Here we are going to select the mods and customizations we need. So first of all we need MIUI bug report but we don't need MIUI email app and MIUI browser app. We need the MIUI weather app and we need the wiper for our eyes, ad blocker and we don't want MIUI explorer and I am going to install MIUI wallpaper app. We also have this beauty mod, I will show that once we have installed the ROM. Once you have selected all the mods you need, just click on create ROM. Now this will give you a unique code, just copy the unique code or you can just remember it. Now just go to download area and download the ROM which has the unique code which is provided by the website. Once the ROM has been downloaded, just copy it to your internal storage. You have to download Universal Boot Image Patcher. The link to that will be in the video description down below. So do not worry about that. Once you have copied these two files, just boot into recovery. You know the key combination, right? Power off your device, hold volume up and power key at the same time until you see MI logo. First go to backup and select everything and swipe to backup because if anything goes wrong, you can always restore this backup. Then come back and go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. You can also go to advanced swipe and select everything except internal and external storage. Once you have done that, just go to install and select the MIUI ROM that you downloaded earlier and swipe to flash. Once that is done, just flash the universal boot image patcher. Now just click on reboot system. It will take a very long time because of the super sue, but don't be panicked. So guys there you have it your own handmade custom MIUI ROM. I'll just set up the device. So basically it is the same MIUI ROM but with custom mods. As you can see the clock is in the center and the networks are in the left and the battery indicator is in the right. As you can see we also have the super su because it is pre-rooted. Let's see if the apps that we have selected are present or not. As you can see we have selected the wiper for our eyes it is also present. Now I am going to show you what is beauty mode. As you can see if I drag down the notification panel here, here you have a graphical representation of your weather. The images keep changing according to your weather. Full right. And then if you just go into settings here you can see we are running on the global stable ROM that is MIUI 8.1.1 and VLT works on this ROM. But if I just make a call the call connect and guys all the basic sensors like fingerprint sensor proximity sensor and all the sensors work perfectly fine and guys if you want me to make a full review of this rom then do let me know about that in the comment section down below or just take the poll which will be popping out right now and guys there you have it this is how you can create your own miui custom rom make sure you subscribe to this channel because i will be posting many more awesome videos like this one comment down below if you have any questions i do read every one of your comments hit the like button if you like this video and i will see you in my next video